Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I do hope that you hit that subscribe button and join me here more often because I would love to have you here a part of the all Cancerian family. I'm a Cancer and I take care of the Cancers. I cater to the Cancers here over on the Cancerian Vibe. So hit the notification bell. Because every time I upload, it's going to be for cancer. So if you have cancer anywhere in your chart, these readings could resonate for you. But keep in mind, they're very general. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see. We're going to hop into it and see what message comes up for cancers. Make sure you check out the description box for all the important information that you're going to want to know. How to um, connect with me on social media. How to book a personal reading with me if you so choose to. But yeah, let's hop into it. Thank you, Spirit, for clear and accurate messages for my Cancers. What message do you have for Cancers? So, ooh, Cancer, right out the bat, divine abundance here. Divine abundance, you were born to align with, with love's will, follow the Tao, and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> cancer. And let me tell you what that just gave me because we got liberation here at the bottom. It's like, look, once you, because what it feels like, somebody is like chasing after um, their abundance. Like just simply put, chasing after chasing after your manifestation and it's kind of it's out of ego like I, i've been preaching this cancer so somebody must still need this message um you know you got to kind of come out of that when you're trying to manifest letting go of results um letting go of attachment to results because that that comes all that comes from the ego cancer wanting things to go your way or look your way um, and that's not always how it is. Um, but with this abundance, it says learn to be abundance, not chase it. And, you know, that's going to free you here with liberation. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. So, yeah, there's it's like someone's working against their manifestation because you still have some doubt there. But once you learn um, to let go of this ego here, cancer those doubts and those fears aren't gonna have anything on you <laughs> like you are free you are free from that hole you're able to move forward and be abundance feel the abundance that you already have <clears throat> excuse me give me messages for cancer what message do you have here for cancer What message do you have here for cancers? Grounded. And um cancer, forgive me. I feel like your um oracle message at the end of your last reading definitely stressed being grounded here. Being grounded is gonna help you come out of this ego. Being grounded is going to help you manifest your desires. Being grounded is one uh, <clears throat> excuse me is what's going to get you to this next level here. It says many of the most evolved being, beings on earth are regular quote unquote regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. And I see all these butterflies around cancer. I feel like this is you um undergoing after your transformation here. It's like you you've evolved here after this um after that initiation process that's what you've gone through after these hard times that you've gone through. Now you're back grounded. Um and yeah, look at here, below at the bottom of the deck. And now things are, um, you know, peaceful. Things are peaceful. It says, allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. Because, yeah, Cancer, it's like, you know, you're... You're just able to accept how things are flowing for you, how things are going for you, how things are coming into you here because you are so grounded here. That's what that's what the test was. That was the that was the initiation, making sure that you are going to be able to stay grounded because what's coming in here, what's coming in cancer is like a big deal. 
and you're gonna have to stay grounded. Give me messages for Cancer. See, yeah, look at here. Extraordinary. I'm telling you, whatever this is coming in, Cancer, it's big. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. There is a wild and impetuous uniqueness that you that you um sorry. <laughs> there is a wild and impetuous uniqueness that um to you that deserves to be honored. So this is your energy. Also, Cancer, like you you are a rare and extraordinary being here. Um, like you are you by yourself, Cancer. The world needs you here. So definitely if you know those fears and those doubts are coming up to where you're doubting your extraordinariness, <laughs> if you're doubting your awesomeness, your amazingness, Cancer, like it's time to reframe your mindset here. This is happening for me, not to me. There's that gift. There's that gift with that transformation. It's like you're being, you graduated here because you're able, because now spirit can trust that you can handle it. Because remember, <clears throat> that question came up. You're asking for it, you're manifesting it, but are you really ready to handle it? If it walked into your life right now, are you really ready to handle it? But I feel like something extraordinary is is coming in here for you. And you're, you had to kind of, you know, make room for it. You had to change, you had to change some things for this. Give me one more for cancer. Yeah, look, because karma came flying out, y'all. This is your good karma. There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. Nothing from a past life that can't be um, addressed in the current life. So, but I feel this cancer, like, don't let your past hold you back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't let your past hold you back. Your past does not define you. But there is, I feel that for most of you, some of you, Know that your worth, this extraordinary thing about to happen or come in here for you because you do deserve it. It's a good karma. Um, it says you've been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. So it's like, <laughs> there you are being loved. You are you are cancer. You are everything that it is that you want. So whatever you're looking for, it's like, look within. You have it already within yourself here. So, okay, cancer. Let's put some tarot on the table and see. Um, tell me more about divine abundance here. For cancer. Tell me about, <laughs> about divine abundance here for cancer. Y'all, this is the sun card. <laughs> yes. So the sun card coming out. I'm telling you, look. Uh, <clears throat> it's... Whatever this is that's coming in here, it's going to be big and a success. And y'all, I keep feeling like Leo season in August, something extraordinary is going to happen. So, yeah, I don't know, Cancer. That keeps coming up for me. Um, clarify the high abundance here. Clarify divine abundance here. Look at the tower trying to come out, y'all. <laughs> Can't say, yeah, this this is, this whatever this is coming in here, it's like, it's, it's, it's extraordinary. <laughs> Clarify divine abundance here. And it's like divine intervention here, um, too. Like the divine is stepping in and saying, no, you deserve this. Like... Clarify divine abundance here for cancer. So we got temperance that came out. And um, cancer, I feel like this is you in harmony here. You in balance, everything coming back in balance here. Kind of after that storm, there's your rainbow here, cancer. And there's that peace that you um, acquired here as well. You know, you're kind of in control of the situation. The sun is shining down on you. Divine abundance is here for you. And it could, it definitely could be with this night here at the bottom of the deck. Um, Knight of Cups. There's definitely some type of, because nights are all about moving forward, um, change or like transition here. So there's definitely something in coming in here that's going to change, like cause a big change or a big transition here. And so that's why you are needed to make sure that you are staying grounded here. Because it's like this could come 
and like shock you out of nowhere or like this could come and like rearrange some things here you're just needing to stay grounded tell me more um clarify grounded here for cancer i see <laughs> and the shrimp card came out y'all so i'm telling you like y'all may have leo in your chart heavy maybe that's why um the sun and the shrimp card are always coming out in your readings cancer but I do still feel something significant around um, August happening here for you. Um, but the four swords at the bottom of the deck, see, it's like um, you're recovering here. Maybe you have even adopted meditation, relaxing um, into your, um, your routine here, Cancer. But I see this as you staying grounded here. And this strength that you're building, this self-love here, unconditional self-love and courage that it's going to take for whatever this is that's coming in that's so extraordinary that's so wild <laughs> it's a wild clarify grounded here clarify grounded here for councils clarify grounded here for cancers So look, there's that tower, y'all. I'm telling you. So whatever, like I'm telling you. <laughs> Did I not say that, Cancer? Um, the Six of Swords is here. And I'm, and whenever this tower moment happens, however it happens for you, Cancer, know that it's happening for you, not to you. That's why it kind of came out with that gift card in the earlier deck, Cancer. I'm telling you whatever this is, look. Right next to the Ten of Cups. It's going to make you extremely happy. Like, <laughs> it, it's definitely moving you. Look, with the Six of Swords that came out, it's definitely moving you on to, um, like, a better situation here with the Six of Swords. I'm telling you, that's how you go to your next level, um, Cancer. Whatever this is, this extraordinary. Clarify extraordinary here for Cancer. Clarify extraordinary here for cancer. So <laughs> we got the six of coins that popped out. Cancer, and I feel like this is a gift. It's like a gift being handed to you. Something tangible too. With it being the um six of coins. There's that gift. <laughs> With the um clarify extraordinary. <clears throat> Yeah, with the nine nine of cups here coming out. And I feel like it's your wish desire. Um, your your wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups coming out. Whatever whatever this is, like you finally get what it is that you're wanting, Cancer. And and it comes in in an extraordinary way. You may not believe it, because yeah, it's like <laughs> the way in the nine of cups it's funny because the nine of cups tried to come out first y'all but look it's like the same girl it's like she's thinking about all that it is that she wants and here it is happening um she's like actually being handed it giving it so it's like and and it may take you by surprise you may not feel like it's coming you may not feel like you can have it here, Cancer. Yeah, because they look the three of swords here at the bottom of the deck. There may have been like some disappointment. Maybe even a loss you took. I feel like it's, it almost feels like a miracle, honestly, um, Cancer, especially with the page of cups behind it. It feels like a miracle is a, it's happening here. <laughs> um, or that's how you're going to feel here. Clarify karma here for Cancer. Tell me about karma here for Cancer. Clarify karma for cancer. So we have the four of wands here. And see, this is where I feel like you'll be celebrating. Um, celebrating whatever this opportunity or... A, Whatever this is coming in here for you, Cancer. Whatever this miracle is, um, I, I see you celebrating it. With the Four of Wands coming out, you guys, it definitely feels like for some of you, your your home, because I'm seeing like this house 
stood out to me. Your home base may be changing. Something about your home may be changing here. And see, with the Seven of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, you may have been waiting for this. I, yeah, it feels like you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for your happiness to come in. It's like, you've been, <laughs> you've been waiting, Cancer. You know what you deserve, and you've been waiting for it. But soon and very soon, soon and very soon, it looks like you're celebrating it here. Tell me more about karma for Cancer. Tell me about karma here for Cancer. So we got the King of Swords that came out. And, um, you know, Cancer, with the King of Swords coming out, you could be dealing with a, uh, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I honestly feel like, Cancer, this is um, kind of your, your um, energy where you're kind of in your thoughts here. Like, because the King of Swords is very intellectual, like a very brilliant thinker. Clarify the King of Swords here. Clarify the King of Swords here. <clears throat> and it's almost like... Yeah, see, the judgment card came out with justice here at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like, Cancer, you're trying to... <laughs> How do I put this? It seems like, Cancer, you're, you're trying to, like... Um, weigh out your weigh out your karma, weigh out your options. Because it seems like you're going through your head about all that you've done all that you've done or what you feel like you deserve here and what would be fair. But see, yeah, with justice, um, the Ace of Coins is right behind it. So it does feel like something, something extraordinary is about to happen, Cancer. Something extraordinary is about to come in for you. Um, and it feels like, you know, your, your wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups here for Cancer. <clears throat> Yeah, see, look, Cancer, that's your it's your manifestations with the magician coming out here. Um, and with the Queen of Coins, y'all, it's definitely something tangible. It could really um uh, like I'm seeing it as money with the coins, but it could be, you know, just something tangible, something real here. But whatever you're manifesting, whatever you whatever you've been wishing for, hoping for, praying for, like it's about to be handed to you in an extraordinary way here extraordinary way okay can't say look i don't think you're ready clarify the six of coins here i don't think you're ready cancer clarify the six of coins because it feels like um look at you cancer trying to pop out but so we have the queen of swords that want to pop out with it too let me tell you in the ace of cups it does feel like somebody might be trying to block um like Somebody might be trying to block something good coming in here, like block a, a new a new love or something. It feels like you have your guard up. Um, clarify the six of coins here for Cancer. So yeah, we got the Queen of Coins, y'all. The Queen of Coins and the Four of Coins here at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, Cancer, it feels like um whatever this is coming in, it's definitely something real. Something wild, too. <laughs> um, and you're going to want to hold on to it. You're going to want to hold on to it. Um, <laughs> but you're definitely worth it, can't say. This is exciting. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. Give me... Ooh. Give me messages for cancer for this spread. Look at that. Endless abundance, y'all. Give me um messages for cancer. And y'all, it fell out again. So I'm just gonna take it. Um sorry about that. Endless abundance here. Endless abundance. And look, we have relationships at the bottom of the deck. So I'm telling you, it does feel like a relationship could be coming in here too for someone. Um, or a relationship needs some some work here 
give me messages for cancer for this spread. And and look, whatever um whatever you do, cancer, if, if you don't get anything else from this reading, just remember and know that and put this in your mind that you deserve what it is that you're asking for. Okay. Um, uh, because worthiness and receptivity popped up to me, y'all. Um, but it's been like as I saw that, I'm seeing this worth. So it feels like somebody like I'm telling you, you're working against yourself. When you want something, you desire something, you're trying to manifest something, and you feel like you don't deserve it, you messing it up. Like, how you what why do you think you're gonna get it? I'm just saying. So somebody definitely <laughs> And as I'm saying that, y'all, it's at the bottom of the deck. Worthiness and re receptivity. So it tried to pop up at me, but here it is at the bottom of the deck. You are worthy. And be receptive because something is definitely coming in. It's like a gift coming in. Something extraordinary, Cancer. Give me messages here for Cancer. Give me messages here for Cancer. <clears throat> Too many cards. Give me messages for cancer for this spread. See, okay, visualize, affirm, and manifest. See, cancer, your um, your your manifestations here are at stake. This is the karma that your manifestations are tied up into. Like, if you don't believe that your karma is good and you deserve um, what it is that you're trying to manifest, things can't change and transform. Give me one more here for cancer for this spread. Ooh. Give me one. Uh, give me one last message here for cancer for this spread. And I said one here. Look here, <laughs> but look. So speak your truth will be here at the bottom of the deck. That definitely came out um, in the last reading, Cancer. There could be something that you're needing to get off your chest. You could be afraid to say it too with this mood through fear coming out. Um, and I also feel like this mood through fear is coming out because those are those um, those are those doubts and fears that are coming up. But you're you're going to be able to move through them. Like remember, you can't. It's not going to go away 100. percent You just know not to believe them when they come up here. Speak your truth. Speak your truth over. Speak life over your own self. Speak your truth to yourself. When something comes up in your head where you start doubting yourself, no, speak the truth to yourself, Cancer. I am. I am abundant. I am love. I can't. You. All right, I ain't going to preach because we're almost to the end. I mean, we already 23 minutes in, but I'm going to pull a couple more Oracle cards from the um, Oracle of Fairies Day, y'all. I haven't used this deck in a minute, but... But come on, pick it up out of my deck here. So look, in celebration here at the bottom of the deck. So I'm telling you, whatever this extraordinary thing is, you'll be celebrating it soon. It definitely gave me the same vibe. So something extraordinary is about to happen, Cancer. Give me, give me messages for Cancer here. Flourish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cancel. You better flourish. Cancer season coming up too. It says the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. And yeah, Cancer, <laughs> you're about to flourish. You're about to flourish because you're able to stay grounded, because you've um you've moved through this fear here. Give me um final messages for cancer. believe in magic <laughs> something about look something about your light too coming up cancer so do not dim your light for anyone don't dim your light cancer ever okay don't dim your light ever give me final messages for cancer give me final messages for cancer stop playing with us So we got protect your dreams. And that was at the bottom of the deck when Flourish came out here. It says you are the garden of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. 
Um, so you could have a dream here, Cancer, that you're working on. You know, you could be needing to keep quiet about that dream until it's it's time. And for some of you, I feel like, um, yeah, <laughs> with div um, divination here, um, I, this takes me back to your intuition, Cancer. Trusting your intuition through this process is key. It says, embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. That's that groundedness. That's that ground in this cancer. So let me pull one more. Give me one last message here. I promise I'm done, y'all. <laughs> I promise I'm gonna be done. Give me one last message here for cancer. Okay, two cards had to fall on the floor. Okay, so divination came out. That's funny, but magical um, gateway. And the believe in magic came out. So, y'all, something very, like, something, it feels like a miracle. Something very extraordinary is about to happen. Something magical. Something that you probably won't expect or, like, it feels like it's going to defy odds. That's what it really feels like. It says it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So it's time to move forward, Cancer, and no looking back, no turning back to the fear, um, to the past because of fear. Precious time here at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> don't waste, don't waste precious time staying in the past or looking back at the past. Move forward here. It says the fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. Okay, Cancer. So don't be wasting your time um, by doing this manifestation um, and praying and like, don't be wasting this time and energy and then going into and letting worry take over and not staying grounded here. That's the key. Something extraordinary is about to happen for you, Cancer. And look, it feels really good. So <laughs> I'm excited for us. I'm going to leave the reading right there, y'all. I'm almost at 30 minutes. It's like a new average. But anywho, um, thank y'all for watching um i do hope the reading resonated with someone remember to like share and subscribe to the channel you guys giving the video a thumbs up is an absolutely free and totally dope way to show me in the channel support and love so i really really appreciate it y'all um oh i just got 27 27 mm, maybe a message in that angel number for someone but anywho y'all um in the meantime in between time until next time love you